presentation is on depression. My name is Claudia, by the way. Um, and I'm specifically focusing on natural treatments versus medication and drugs. So, uh, depression is a feeling of unhappy, a persistent feeling of unhappiness because of an imbalance of chemicals in your brain. And there are 14.8 million Americans, American adults, who are affected by depression a year. Um, I found this post on Tumblr and I thought it was like really um, applicable. applicable. Um, so it says depression isn't pretty, but having depression doesn't make you ugly. Anxiety is a burden, but having anxiety doesn't make you a burden. You aren't your problem, you deserve respect and patience. And I thought that was like really like strong. Because it's true, you aren't your problems just because you feel like you're in the way of others doesn't really mean that you are. Just, you just feel that way. That is you. Um, so, um, um, 59% of Americans are on some kind of antidepressant. Depressant. That's over half. That's almost 60%. So that's a bunch of chemicals and people, like unnecessary chemicals <coughs> in people's bodies. Um, no, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Um, um, we're going to get personal. Um, so, when I was 15, summer of right before junior year, um, I was at work with my brother. We were off in like Cobra City, and I was scrolling through Facebook because I still like Facebook. Facebook is cool. And I see this like post, and I was like, oh my God, what is this? And it was about my uncle saying that he passed away. And I was like, what? That's no. And it was true. So that was like really hard. Um, that was three days before my birthday, before my 16th birthday. That seemed really irrelevant at the time. But I don't know, in like my family, it's custom. When someone dies, you um, have like a crane thingy for them for seven days. And we were like on the third day, and it was my birthday, and then like, People started telling me happy birthday, and I was like, oh, that's so weird, because my uncle just died. I'm not really here to get happy birthdays. That's super weird. And I mean, obviously, they didn't take it like that. They weren't being like mean or whatever. They're my family, but it was really hard. So I turned 16, and it was really bad at that time. So school started. Um, that was really hard. But um, I set a goal for myself. I was like, okay, hey, you're not going to let this affect you. So I got pretty good grades my first semester. But I was like, okay, hey, leave it to the back of your mind. It's not that hard to deal with that. Then second semester came along, and I was just done with school. I like stopped coming to school. I like miss at least one day a week, maybe two. Um, and if I did come, I'd come for an like, advisory and be, I didn't want to be here. So I was like, oh, I can't deal with this. I can't be like this. So I went to the doctor and got prescribed Xanax. Took that for like a month. And I felt really good. <laughs> I didn't feel like bad anymore. And then the month passed by. And I felt awful, awful that second day, day right afterwards. I was like, oh my god, I feel so bad. I like freaked down in the middle of class. <laughs> So bad. So um, I decided that um, drugs were not the answer because once you stop taking them, you just go back to feeling awful. So I went back to the doctor and he sent me to a therapist. Went to a therapist, got diagnosed. I was going to start um, trauma therapy. And I was like, yes, like, it's going to be better. That never happened because I am undocumented here, so I don't have medical, so that never happened. So I was like, ooh, I can't go back on Xanax. That's not an option for me. Um, so I did like, dealt with it myself. I was like, you need to deal with this. So I started, um, dealing with it the way I knew how. With like,
like my family, loved ones, it's my niece, baby. But um, like, um, like my little, like my niece doesn't know that she's helping me. My brother, my cousin, they're like my life. I love them. They make me like extremely happy. They don't know that they're helping me, but they are. They're children. And they're innocent. And um. So I learned to deal with it. Like this might seem super like obvious, but breathing helps so much. Like I, when I can't deal, I'll go outside and just breathe, and that makes me feel so much better. Um, but I talked to my mentor. She gave me like a couple like suggestions acupuncture and yoga and talk therapy and medi meditation, not medication, meditation, hypnotherapy and exercise. And it's true, um, those really do help like exercise, helps just get like those like chemicals in your body, like, natural chemicals in your body. Um, but I decided like, my grades were so bad. At the end, like middle, second semester junior year, by the end, I think I passed with like no C's. So I was like, that's pretty good when I went from like Aussies. So I set a goal for myself. And that's how like I like get through things. You're like one day at a time, like you do this one day at a time and like um take it one day at a time. There you go. You can't like just automatically like wanna feel better. Cause that's not that doesn't happen. Take it one step at a time and you'll get there and better is I thought that was really pretty. Um, it's gonna get better like eventually. Don't take drugs because that just doesn't help in the long run. It just numbs the pain or the depression or whatever you're going through. Which like seems like you hear about people taking drugs and they don't need it. You're like what's you're just gonna get hooked on drugs unnecessarily. What is it helping you with? So it's like you just hear about it you just stare at them like, what are you doing with your life? Um, me and everyone. No. Um, I'm just saying that don't take, like, you do need, like, drugs or you need the drugs to balance the chemicals in your brain at some point, but then you're done with that, so you need to find a natural way to, like, treat yourself, because you don't want those, like, unnecessary, like, chemicals and drugs in your body, because that's just bad.